Oh, God. I don't even know how to sum this up, to be quite honest with you. Um, so, WordPress is a CMS. It's a content management suite. It is a very fancy way of saying it's a type of software that you run on the internet that handles post. Um, it's a way to organize information um, that you write in a dynamic way. You visit maddie.live, my podcast website, um, you will see a WordPress blog. However, um, I assure you that there are many, 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 many websites out there that don't look like blogs that run WordPress. Because WordPress is a very, very old uh, software suite, and it is in PHP, which is a very accessible language. And effectively, there are 500 million Indian programmers that know how to write plugins for WordPress. So if you were to go to Fiverr and you were to type in website and you were to hire a random five-star rated Fiverr um, company to build a website for you, and you say, I want XYZ functionality. What they're going to do is they're going to install WordPress on a VPS and they're going to write a custom plugin that breaks the back of WordPress and turns it into whatever website you could possibly imagine. Uh, if you remember New Project 2 from, from uh, Juju, uh, that was WordPress. If you, uh, like there's Mad at the Internet, which looks like a traditional blog, but there are tons of websites. In fact, I think it's 50% of all websites run WordPress. Governments run it. You'll see there's WordPress blogs that use um, uh, the the government layouts for, for not just in the U.S., but in the U.K. and in and, and Australia and New Zealand. Like, it's a, it's a massive, massive platform. And it, it's founded by this guy called Matt Mullenweg. And he he's also the CEO of a, a group called Atomic. And, or Automatic, I think is what it's called. And the way that these websites work is that usually you have... Um, when, when a guy's like super embedded into this, especially if they run the open source software, the open source project is usually a nonprofit and Wikimedia also does this. So the Wikimedia software that runs the Wikipedia website is actually managed by the 501c3, but the guy that, um, I want to say Jimmy Wales himself owns a website. I think he owns fandom. Is it fandom that Jimmy Wales owns or he owns the other one? There's a really, really big conglomerate of free wikis that are owned directly by Jimmy Wales. And the Wikipedia or Wikimedia Foundation like just accepts hundreds of millions of dollars of donation money to manage the software that Jimmy Wales then goes, Oh, Wikia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fandom, which was formerly called Wikia. That's right. That's it. Um, and then he goes and takes this free developed software that's released in open source, and then he turns it into a for-profit entity called Fandom that runs ads all over the fucking place and makes a ton of money and is avaricious and shitty. Um, and that's how he makes his money. Matt M Mullenweg uh, does the exact same thing, but for WordPress. So you have WordPress, which is free open source software that anybody can use, but then he also has a website called uh, Automatic, and um, or a company called Automatic, and it offers you VPS cloud hosted WordPress so you don't have to install it yourself. And it also offers a bunch of premium plugins for WordPress um, that you can subscribe to. And that's how he makes his money. However, because uh, in, in my example, you have fandom owned by Jimmy Wales and then you have automatic owned by Mo Matt Mullenweg, you also have WordPress engine. So WordPress Engine is the exact same thing, kind of, as like WordPress.com's cloud hosting, but it's owned by a different group. So it's sort of like a competing financial interest that's taken the free open source thing and selling um, VPS space uh, for, uh, for their own company, and they compete directly with Matt's company. And Matt doesn't like this because he loses money to uh, WP Engine. Um, actually, I think they call it WP Engine. It used to be WordPress Engine, but then they got like a trademark dispute, so now it's just WP Engine because they can't use the word WordPress. So Matt's uh, upset about this. 
and uh, has been feuding with them for a very long time to the point where Matt made an ultimatum with WordPress, effectively extortion, and said, if you guys don't give me 8% of your gross revenue, for um, we will I will go full scorched earth on you. So he did. He had a convention. They refused to give him the money. He went to a convention. He made all sorts of terrible remarks about WP Engine. And then um, they started shooting each other legal letters, cease and desist letters, which resulted in um, Matt blocking, disabling all their developer accounts. And then after disabling their developer accounts and disabling their access to their own plugins on the WordPress pl plugin market, Matt announced a vulnerability in their plugins. So after disabling their access to update their plugins, he announced to the world that he had found a, a vulnerability in them which compromised any website using that plugin while also making sure to not allow pe the, the company to update their plugin to ensure that the vulnerability would stay live on websites. He then forked their plugin and published a fixed version that he maintains uh, as part of his company. Um, then he updated the WordPress.com site to have a official terms of service agreement that says you're not affiliated with WP Engine and you don't use any of their services. And then I think he's like contacted all of their customers and said, don't do business with this horrible company. And he's basically like so autistic about this that he's turning a lot of people against the open source foundation in favor of the venture capitalist taking the open source software and making money off of it, which is effectively unheard of. Like that never happens. <laughs> the, the nonprofit almost always gets like a 20, a natural 20 role when it comes to like battles with venture capitalist companies. But Matt's handled this so horrifically and so challenging childishly that um, it's made people feel bad for WP Engine. Um, I don't think that there's anything else to this. They're just kind of spatting and people are, oh, Matt, my dear friend Matthew Prince. Matthew Prince, my good friend. We've hung out and eaten hors d'oeuvres together. We've had fine cheese and wine in Sacramento. He's given me, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say, but he says, uh, we'd be happy to donate the capacity to power WordPress.org for the community. So he's, oh, Matt, Matthew Prince took, Matt took Matt's side. I can't believe that. Much respect for CloudFund. Let's be able to discuss your services and enhance.org's infrastructure. <laughs> cool. Great. <laughs> that should show you who's on the right right there. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.